You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Jean wants to know, do x-rays have an adverse effect on CLL? Well, I mean, it really depends on um, you know, how many, what dosage of x-rays you have. Okay, um, so how much radiation? Yeah, you know, it's a dose-dependent thing. A lot of radiation can cause cancers, a little radiation can kill them. Okay, but that also depends on your molecular exactly. stuff, right? The ge genetic. Yeah, well, you know, that's an interesting thing because uh, a lot of times we will find patients with mutations uh, such as RAD and so on in, in genes that are involved in um, protecting us and fixing mutations caused by radiation, by ionizing radiation. Mm. And so, in essence, they're, they have these inherited mm. DNA repair mutations and it causes their cancers to develop. Mm. But in, in retrospect, it also creates a sensitivity to their cancers for radiation treatment. So there's a new study showing that if you have certain germline mutations or certain you know, mutations that are involved in repairing DNA that's been damaged by radiation, mm -hmm. you also have a great chance of a high response from radiation therapy. Right. So it's kind of a you know, mm -hmm. double-edged sword. Yeah. So Gene, you'd have to, uh, you'd have to have some genetic testing done to find yeah. out, uh, or well, yeah, that's the best way to find out, is based on Pretty what well, you just yes. said, yep. is yep. to find out whether you have any of those sensitizing or desensitizing mutations that might make radiation affect you in a better or yes. not so better way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.